short video here. I just wanted to highlight a feature that showed up in Photoshop uh, 22 or the, I think that would be the 2020 version of Photoshop. Uh, this is one of the old school ways of tiling uh, materials inside of Photoshop, but in a different way. Usually what you would do uh, previously, this is pre like substance, uh, substance tools and Quixel mixer and all, all those awesome PBR tools we all know and love today. Um, basically, what you would do is you would have this uh, layer. Also, shout out to uh, Ben Wilson for giving me a, a broken material that looks awesome. So it looks good, but it's not tiling. Uh, so what we would normally do is you would go to uh, filter and then others offset. And this is a 2048 by 2048. So let's say we just offset it by 1024. This is how we used to do it, like pre PBR and, and whatnot. Uh, and you would see there's, okay, there's the, there's the tiling issue, right? So you just alt drag this up uh, to duplicate it and then go ahead and just run the filter again. And now you would have uh, the non-broken version on top. What we would do is add a layer, invert it, or like a, a mask, invert it, and then just go in and start uh, cleaning up and trying to make this blend as, as best as we could. Uh, and you can see this is this is pretty tedious, right? Uh, I would say that this is kind of not, I mean, you're, you're going to have to do this for every map. So you'd have to replicate the mask and do it with every channel. So it's just not very intuitive. Um, and I mean, that's, there's, there's better ways to do this now, basically. Right. Um, let's, let's go ahead and delete that. Let's retile this again or offset it again. And, um, let's just take this material and instead we'll go to view and they've added this pattern preview and when you click that it actually tiles your your uh, canvas which doesn't have to be square by the way um, so if you want to make Ben Wilson wrapping paper um, with his permission of course go for it <laughs> uh, I would love to get a, a package that was wrapped like this um, but yeah, so you can see where the border is and you're like, okay, if you go up, you can see the seam. And I think one of the cooler things is you can actually like, if we go in and we, we, let's grab a piece and, and paste it here. When you move it, you can see that it's just, it's just tiling, which is really nice. Um, but the cool part is you can be outside of the canvas when doing this. And that to me is just kind of crazy. I never thought Photoshop would have something like this. So you can still work as you would. And you can see it's it's just doing the job. Usually what I would say is you would want to um, do all this, invert that, and then just bring this in, and then try and get this to work. And you basically would clean your seams up like this. Now, while, while I say this probably isn't a, I say probably it's not, this is not a, a good way to be doing it for materials today and is very tedious and time consuming. I think for um, roughness maps or mask generation that you need tiling, uh, this is such a, such a nice way to be able to go in and do some cleanups and break up, uh, break up your materials. The other thing to notice too, is like you can zoom out and immediately see where there's issues. So if like, if you, if someone's having an issue and they need some feedback or they have a, they want your critique on some material, you can just drag it into Photoshop, just turn the pattern on and then look at where the issues are at. And then you can just screenshot this and then um, highlight, let's see, get the highlighter, highlight the, the areas that are of issue, right? You can see like, okay, that one's there. You've got this dark line here, which I think I introduced when I added that, uh, that piece. And then you can give that to them as feedback. Anyways, I thought this was really cool. It's an interesting uh, change to Photoshop and I had no idea it was there. Thanks again to Tyler Oliver in the Discord and then Ben Wilson for supplying all of the materials uh, or this material for me to uh, showcase this feature. If you just want to uh, turn it off, you just go down here and pattern preview again, just turn it, turns it right off. And um, yeah, hopefully that's helpful. And um, all the links are down below for Ben.
Ben Wilson if you want to check out some of his other stuff. All right, cool.